popping? Good morning. It's your boy, Jay the Comedian. How y'all doing today? How am I doing today? I'm doing okay. Good. All right. So today, I want to talk to you guys about the Jehovah Witness personalities inside the Kingdom Hall and outside the Kingdom Hall. Now, for all my XJWs out there, <laughs> oh, you know what I'm talking about, right? Because when you're inside the Kingdom Hall, you are a totally different person than you are outside the Kingdom Hall, unless you're around other JWs. If you're around other JWs, you act the same way you would as if you were inside the Kingdom Hall. But when you're at home with just your family and people like that, oh, you can really let your freak flag, your freak flag fly. <laughs> Not literally, of course. But, so check it out. There's a thing that the Jehovah Witnesses have, which is called bringing reproach onto Jehovah's name. And it is something that you must not do as a Jehovah Witness. You don't do it. <laughs> so check it out. A lot of people around the world, whenever they're asked to talk about Jehovah Witnesses, they pretty much give the same response. Oh, they're, they're some very nice, kind, respectful people. They don't have a mean bone in their body. Oh, wow, they're, they're some really impressive people. And that organization really makes some really good, impressive, nice folks. <laughs> and while I would agree with them, oh, there's layers to this thing, baby. Because the, the layer you're looking at is the layer in which they want the world to see. It ain't their real self. It's the, the self that they portray because they're always being told that when you're out and about, you are representing Jehovah, baby. <laughs> you are representing your God. As if if somebody did something bad. Oh, did she fart on the elevator full of people? Oh, I know her God must be upset at her. <laughs> like, I don't know anybody who personally, like, rationalizes things like that. But who knows? Eh? There might be people out there who, who directly, like, equate stuff that people do with the God that they believe in. My bigger point, when you're inside the organization and you gotta put on that, that different personality than you normally would, this is how it looks, right? Now this is from experience because I've experienced this, okay? My mother and my father, once on the way to the Kingdom Hall, got in an argument, right? My mother get in the car, my father get in the car. My mother get in, oh, so you just can't hold the door for me. My father was like, well, you got two arms. Why you couldn't open it yourself? You didn't struggle to do it? <laughs> because they were already arguing, so they were already a little testy with each other, right? So my mom, oh, what a gentleman I married. <laughs> my father, oh, what an entitled princess I married, you know? And then those are the last words they said to each other all the way till we got to the kid hall. <laughs> now we get to the kid hall, remember, They've been kind of testing and, 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 and biting at each other all day, right? They get to the hall. He he pulled the seat out for her. Here you go, honey. <laughs> no, he didn't pull the seat. He can't, you can't pull the seats in, uh, in the kingdom hall. But he basically, like, you know, he, he let her sit down first. He kind of presented the seat to her. And she sat down. Oh, thank you, honey. And they were all in the hall, hugged, like, hugged up and nice and just putting on the front, right? <laughs> See, because this is how the argument would have went if they were in front of some other Jehovah Witnesses. The argument would have been like this. Oh, honey, you didn't hold the door for me. And he'd been like, oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I really, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. Let me go and open the door for you. And actually, I'm sorry, I didn't. I should have been, I should have been more, more focused on your needs, my dear. Oh, what a gentleman I've married. Oh, and what a princess I've married. <laughs> That's how the argument would have went in front of some JWs. You know what I'm saying? And some, uh, in front of some other JWs, it's an entirely different thing. Because everybody at the Kingdom Hall puts up a front. And the front is done for, for several reasons. First off, it's to fool everybody into believing, even their own people, that all the people are just good and, and great all the time. Oh, we don't argue. We don't fight. We don't have these real situations. Yes, you do. You absolutely do, but you don't want nobody else thinking that you do. 
because you don't want to bring reproach on Jehovah's name. First off, I have a big problem with that in general because I find it kind of hard for somebody to do something and God's like, yeah, man, that's my bad. <laughs> I'm not going to blame, even if I did, because of course I don't believe in God. Even if I did believe in God, I'm not going to blame a God for something somebody does, you know? That's not how it works. Now, maybe you can blame a parent for something a child does, but only for a certain time. Once that child becomes an adult, I don't know if I can still blame the parent <laughs> at this point. That child is adult now. That child makes his own decisions. And the same thing with being a Jehovah Witness. After a certain point, you can't blame Jehovah anymore. But that's what the organization wants you to believe. Because the real thing you should be saying is, you don't want to make the organization look bad. You know what I'm saying? But that's not how it works. Because people don't care about whether or not they make some organization looks bad. <laughs> Makes the organization looks bad. They don't care <laughs> about making an organization look bad. They do not care. Like imagine if some two people about to fight, right? They're like, gentlemen, gentlemen, stop. You're making the organization look bad. They're like, man, I don't care about no damn organization. He stepped on my foot and didn't say sorry and then farted in his hand and slapped me with it. I'm fighting. <laughs> I'd fight in that situation too. But the bigger point is, they don't want their organization to look bad. This is just another case of them taking Jehovah's authority and, and giving it to themselves. Taking Jehovah's identity, which is a better word, and giving it to themselves. Once again, Instead of saying, hey, you're making us look bad, you're saying, oh, you're making Jehovah look bad. Because once you throw the name Jehovah in there, they know people are going to bend to their, bend to whatever you say, you know? And they know this. They know this. That's why they've given the name Jehovah so much, like, specialized attention and respect, you know? Oh, it's the holiest of name in which the righteous run to and is given protection. <laughs> like they really really build up the name Jehovah they, they build it up as big as you can build it because once you got people respecting that name so hard when you throw it out there and you throw it out there in a way that's like disrespectful but it kind of makes other people feel like they're being disrespectful, disrespectful and they really embrace the term Jehovah that's God oh the almighty I can't do anything wrong against that name. So they take that name and they say, okay, I got people that'll do anything to make sure they don't make this name bad. So now, when they're out and about, hey, you represent Jehovah. <laughs> hey, you don't want to anger Jehovah. You don't want to bring reproach on Jehovah's name. This is what they do. And they've been doing it for years. They have everybody out here believing that Jehovah is the God that made all these people great. No. They fooled each other into believing that each other is very good people. <laughs> and then they go out and when they outside and they represent Jehovah, they make sure that they have on that, 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 that presentable personality in which everybody looks good and nobody curses and everything's good and respectful because then when you present yourself like that, People who aren't that way will look at you and say, wow, maybe I should get with them. Maybe I could learn how to be good and respectful the way they are. When, if you're being honest, like, <laughs> they're only good to a certain point. Because a lot, as a lot of XJWs will tell you, once you get home or once you get into some private setting, oh, it gets a bunch, it gets real different. That real personality will come out quick. <laughs> like any and everything you can think of, I've seen. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're not at the Kingdom Hall and you can come home, oh man, that's the real you right there. Anyway, if y'all got stories and y'all know about how people will like be one way at the hall and then switch it up when they get home, Write in the comments and talk about it because I, I'll read the comments, of course, and I want to see what y'all got, okay? Anyway, I'm a little bit sleepy. Ugh! 
It's rainy outside. God, it makes me want to go to sleep. Ah! Anyway, it's your boy, Jay the Comedian. I hope y'all having a great day. Holla at your guala. Deuces.